What's up everyone, I'm Greenskull, and I'm here on location in Vancouver to check out the Forward Unto Dawn set. It's pretty crazy, and we interviewed some awesome people, so check it out. Sweet. This is a completely new thing for me. I had never played the game, and I was just kind of amazed at the depth and scope of the Halo world. I read um, Contact Harvest and I did not have time between getting the job and being here to read the other seven novels <laughs> or however many it is, but like there's just, there's so much and it's such a rich world and mythology. You know, being a part of, uh, of this project where we're in a, um, an environment that is set so far in the future, that for me was just wicked, you know. I'm on set yesterday, just, we, we were just going like, look at this, look at this, like, everyone's just like, ah, 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 ah. like it's just, it's so awesome. It's hard to relate to a character who has known nothing but military and known nothing but service. I think one of the things is just a devotion to something that you believe in. And for me, I think it's acting and it's my job and career and, and taking it seriously. And so, I mean, just, I think for me, it's just it's taking this character seriously. It's, I think, what I really did and what he believes in seriously and not looking at it as a strange place. I was absolutely a fan from the beginning of the Halo franchise. That's definitely one of the big challenges, right, is to tell a story that both plays to the fans and delivers everything that they could want out of this, but also is accessible to new people who may not know anything about Master Chief or the Forward Unto Dawn or any of that stuff. We've got real people, uh, and you know, try as we might, and the faces and the graphics and the games are getting better and better all the time. Uh, but you still, you just get a much different uh, emotional range and, and a much more uh, kind of empathy with real life humans. Uh, and with the, the story that we're telling in the aim that we're, we're not just telling a Halo story, that it's supposed to, it's a great story uh, about some characters that we want you to identify with and be afraid for when they're in trouble. Uh, and, and all those moments in the story is that, uh, you know, getting a, a great cast of young actors and the, uh, the actors that we've got here uh, for the cadets and for the officers at the school and everybody. Um, they've really brought this story to life in a way that it's hard to do in games. And we're doing scenes in it and I'm trying not to look at my cool room while I'm doing this scene because I'm like, it's so cool in here. Like, that's my favorite part, man. That's, that's the best. I love that. Live action chief. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. I just really hope they like it. Yeah. Enjoy the show. I got, when I got the script, obviously went through that, broke that down. Uh, and then after that, I really went online and I really started to read certain books, some of the fiction that's already been put out there. Um, I really went heavily into uh, Fall of Reach and read through.